In this final video, I will show you how to add in the boxes of, minim of equal mass onto a plot of two material indices. So I've taken the figure that we created before and I just zoomed in on some of the, the axes on the, the bottom left corner. And remember, we've already created that coupling line that has a slope of one and the ratio between the two material indices is 300. So that's our coupling constant, and so we've already placed it. And I just saved the image, and now I've inserted it into PowerPoint where I'm going to draw the boxes. You could use other programs. Um, this is just how I am going to choose to do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create my shapes. So I'm going to create those boxes. I'll just do two straight lines. copy that one, I'm going to paste it again, and now I'll draw a vertical line. So we can just double check under shape format, and we see that this one has a height of zero, so it's flat. This other one has a width of zero, so it's flat, and we'll just connect them. And I'm going to group these, select both of them, and group them so that they're a single object. Now what this allows me to do is I can resize my box as needed and move it around. And so remember, we want to minimize our material indices. We want small density, so we want to be in the bottom left corner. So we want to be in the bottom left corner. And practically, what we're going to do is we draw on these lines so that they intersect at that corner. We then, we then move up our lines, move these up so that they intersect on the on the. Um, the coupling line until we get to hit, hit our first material. So we do that and we see that we see that our first material here, our first material is going to be carbon fiber. We keep moving these coupling lines, keep moving them until we hit our second material and our second material here is silicon carbide. We keep moving, we do the same process until we get to our third material, which is alumina, and we do the same thing and until I find my fourth material, I need to make this bigger now, until we find our fourth material, which you can see is aluminum nitride. So this is the process that we would take to select our materials. You wouldn't need to show all of these boxes, but again, that's where we start. We start with those boxes in the low, lower left corner, and then they move them up to select the materials. I had already gone through and added the labels, um, but if you didn't know, if it wasn't obvious to you, you could do this and then identify them afterwards and go through and add the labels.